All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. Today, we have ourselves Mr. Spamel and Bread. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know who they are, but if you don't know Mr. Spamel and Bread, they are the owners of Pine Hosting, and they both have their own individual channels. Mr. Spamel has, I think, around 46,000 subscribers now, which is still pretty, pretty strong, but sadly, I haven't posted in a while, but from this podcast, maybe we will know. Uh, what's gonna happen in the future so uh, yeah so before we start with the questions though I want to give a shout out to the sponsors of the podcast without them this podcast wouldn't be possible uh, first things first is obviously we have pine hosting which is sponsoring this podcast so a huge shout out to them if you guys want to start your own unturned server they have multiple servers as well uh, make sure to use code LDG for 30% off we also have Amox Studios who is a team of professionals who work with you to make any types of mods or maps for your servers and we have Restore Monarchy, who um, work with making plugins, both free and paid professional plugins for all types of servers. And they also do a ton of guides regarding Uncerned and also the plugins that they post. So, let's start. So, hello, Brad and Spamil. What's up? Hello, hello. 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 This is the first podcast I'm doing with two people at the same time. <laughs> so, <laughs> technically, it's the second podcast. So, you know. First, mm. first We're like time. a hive mind, so it's fine. Exa yeah, we All our answers pass, are the same. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So if one of you gets stuck, then the other one will know what to say instantly. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Pretty Perfect. much. Pretty much. That's really good. You've done, a, you've done a few podcasts yourself in the past, haven't you? Um. Well, I mean, I was on the other side of them, but yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I exactly. Yeah, one, yeah. I might have done one as a guest. I don't know. I don't... I have no idea. Okay. At okay. some point, I've definitely we've done plenty of podcast stuff, but it's a very long time ago now. Yeah, very I long mean, time ago. so it's it's not your first time here, like in a, as in a podcast kind of thing. So that's, no, that's good. That's good. Because last lo first episode I did with Puro, it was his first time. I was super nervous. So. Yeah, yeah. no, I, we were watching your stream before this, and we kept hearing how uh, how nervous you were. You I, no was, be nervous. I was. I was. for so long. Like, I do, exactly. Breathe. I don't know why I was breathe. so nervous, but I'm okay now. <laughs> like now that we've started, okay. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Good. So, Good. yeah, let's start off with the first question. So, um, a lot of people ask me this. For example, I posted an announcement when it comes to like that I'm going to have you on the podcast, and there are like a few people asking you. Um, if you're ever coming back to posting unturned content, this is obviously for, for mainly for Mr. Spamil, you know. Um, so would you ever consider coming back to, you know, unturned content? Um, I I would, but it's just, I, I I've just been so busy with everything else in life and just work and pine and pine and then more pine. Ah. It's just... <laughs> You know, it's it's one of those. It kind of like fell by the wayside um, as as pine grew and as you know work started getting busier and busier and busier. Yeah, that make, um, makes sense. It's just one of those. It's it's one of those things that's like once you sort of stop making content for a while, it's very easy to just completely stop. Uh, you know, people still ask me, and I never really have that good an answer because it's not something I'm actively trying not to do. It's just something that sort of doesn't happen anymore. I see. I see. Um, okay. It'd be quite strange to hop back in and turn now. I think. And, and make a video because it's been so long. No, I, I so think long. it would be nice though. Like, you know, if you have an extra hour or whatever, you could like do a video like revisiting on turn in 2024, you know? True. I think I think that would be a, a banger, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's a good title. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Okay. But, true. Yeah, true. All right, all right, all right. Um, What about you, Brad? I know you've posted a few videos. <laughs> I know you've posted a few videos, and I, 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 you still do shorts, right, for your Pine hosting channel, like Ross shorts. Yeah, yeah so Spamall does all of those. Okay. Um, my channel, personal channel, was never a channel. I was just, I just uploaded random little bits and bobs, so okay. I'm not too worried about that. I saw the other day I lost three subs in a day, so oh, no. I'm really. <laughs> oh, well, Great don't guys, worry, dude. Subscribe. subscribe to Brad, guys. <laughs> no, but, all right. No, I, I, I see most of the shorts. They do really well as well. So, yeah, keep that up, man. You know? I think shorts right now are the meta as well for YouTube, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we, we've been able to get quite a lot of, of views across YouTube and, and TikTok and things with our Pine content. And, we, we, you know, it's certainly not like we don't make content anymore. It's just very different, obviously. Oh, yeah, no. What I used to do on my channel is just, you know, diff different focus. Yeah, there's a, a huge difference between 
on turn than you know the rust shorts that you guys put. But it's nice to see that you you're still posting stuff, you know, not just completely gone, you know, mm. working in the background. Because you guys still do a lot of work, obviously. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> I I, I know I know don't <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> All right, so this brings me to the other question then. Do you guys still play on Turned or Rust? Or whatever. Do you guys I wish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean... we really, like, like Spamal said earlier, we work so much that we barely play games anymore, to be honest. Um, Rust especially. Like, I really enjoy Rust. I think it's a great game. But you need to dedicate, like, 12 hours a day to that game or you're just not going to get anywhere. That is true, so, yeah. Uh... Yeah. It, it would be fun, and I one day I'd love to just like cut out a week to play Rust with a bunch of friends, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Impossible. Yeah, I relate with you on the, the Rust 12 hours a day. I've done like two wipes in my life in Rust. I, yeah. I, I get bored quickly. That's the thing, though. I like Even on Hunter and I can't focus on recording for more than three hours a day, and then I just... Mm. Rust, it's impossible. I can't. Yeah, exactly, and if you're recording very... while playing a game as well, then you're not like fully yourself. So it's oh yeah, yeah. definitely you're yeah. more worried about the content than just playing the game. Yeah, I get so mad sometimes. Like I rec record two hours, and then I just get raided, and the video's like you know not done. In my like in my opinion, yeah. it's not done. And bro, I <laughs> get I get so mad. I like almost flip my table. <laughs> yeah, That's frustrating. for you. It's a nightmare because it's yeah. like me and Brad made a Rust video once. I mean, we, we did two actually, didn't we? We did some roleplay Rust video, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. We, we've done oh. some Rust content ages ago, and yeah, it's just it's it's so much work to try and go on like an actual Rust server um, and record enough to get a video. It's just, oh, you, you, I mean, that's why huge that... respect to all those YouTubers that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, I mean, there, yeah. There's, a, there's a reason why the largest Rust channels upload so infrequently. Yeah, and they um, they get millions of views. So. Yeah. I don't blame them, dude. Yeah. Sometimes I get bored watching that video. Imagine recording it. It's, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. And they're yeah, like, no, they're, and then... they're not boring videos. It's just me personally, I, I get bored. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, also, Rust content tends to be much longer than Untanned content. You know, like a lot of the people we work with in, in Rust, you know, their videos are like 30 minutes, 40 yeah. minutes, 50 minutes. Some of them are even like over an hour. And it's like, that's very rare in Untanned. Definitely, you don't really see definitely. That. Um, but it's it's nice to see like people dedicate that much, you know. And on turn, there's not really a, a lot of content creators like that nowadays, sadly. We'll, we'll talk about that question later, actually, because I think I have a question yeah. about that. <laughs> you do. Yeah. All right. So the next question is, I guess this is kind of a repetitive, but what's your favorite game to? What's the favorite game you've ever played? I know you don't have time now, but. In all of your life, Ooh. what's your favorite game? Ever played? Yes. Oh, no. You see, when I... Oh, <laughs> I did Redemption. Thinking... Really? Okay. Yeah, I'm going with that. Redemption. you got to specify two, Brad. You can't just... Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Redemption. Exactly. Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know. That is an impossible question, because I don't know. I could go one that's, like, nostalgic, or one that I've got the most hours. Most hours, it would be unturned, still. Exactly, I'm um, so. <laughs> I don't know, but like uh, Grand Theft Auto Five, always a classic. Okay. I love that game. I don't know. I don't rust. Excellent. There's too many. I don't know. I couldn't pick a favorite. Um, All right. Samuel's obsessed yeah. with games. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. Name name your top three then. Not in that. Not as that list though. You know. That's that's still really difficult. But I guess <laughs> yeah. probably unturned rust GTA probably. Okay. I, I I guess. Yeah. I would. I would. I would. I agree. I would say GTA mm. is one of my favorite games, too, to be honest, so... Yeah, yeah, like, me and Brad played... Roblox, in... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. I played a lot of nah. GTA Online. A lot of GTA Online. Okay. Uh, we used to GTA is a good game just to chill, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's good. It's good to just drive around and... Yeah, sometimes I just go in there, drive, run over people, and that's it, you know? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, but recently, I mean, Brad knows this, but recently I've been playing Space Marine 2. That is an okay. excellent game. I think I've uh, heard like of it, yeah. Yeah, no, it came out not that long ago. Um, that's a great game. Great game. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's such a huge mix. And there's too many games to play. Which, oh, yeah, that's with true. how busy me and Brad are, is such a nightmare. Because you just can't really sit down and play a game anymore. You know, I miss the days where you could just come home from school, play a game for eight hours, and then yeah. sleep. For... <laughs> I wish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's just... It's, you, you can't really do that anymore, nah. which is a shame. T mm. Technically, I'm not gonna complain when it comes to my side because I still just stream for like six hours a day. I've been live for seven <laughs> hours today, so but you know it's a bit different because streaming and playing it's you know 
not the same when it's you not have the to same. always... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I have certain viewers like Chisiki, you know? <laughs> calling me every word on, on earth if I do one mistake. So it's kind of different. <laughs> yeah, All right. Different. Um, so next question. All right. This is going a bit dark. Do you think Unturned has died? Died or... Okay, yeah. it's, the it, player count is down. It's declining. Uh, I, it, it has declined. Um, we've seen that even like my personal server, I get less players on that now. Um, and Pine servers for Unturned, we've seen a decrease in orders. And uh, But okay. I think it's, it, it's, it's had its decline, but I think it can come up again. It has. It's done that before in the past. Um, it just needs a big update, in my opinion. A new map or something. Exactly. I saw a lot of people talking about that. Like a new vanilla map, something made by Nelson would be yes. sick. I, I, I really do think there's a new map coming out soon. I think in like two, three months, I think, because, because it's already been delayed. But I do. Is it uh, a vanilla map or like a curated? No, map? it's curated. It's it's called uh, Limestone. Yeah, it's made from Renoxon, who made Arid and Polaris. Interesting. You see, the what only curated like... map that I actually like, which everyone's gonna hate me for this, <laughs> is Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii, Hawaii is like Hawaii's Hawaii's all right. Map. Yeah, yeah. Hawaii is. Dude. I know people don't really like it, but I feel like Hawaii lasted. All these other curated maps kind of just die out after the first few months. That is, is sad true, yeah. because there's a lot of effort put into them. The last few maps, though, I've been doing quite. I don't know if you've tried like Escalation or Arid. Have you tried those maps? I think I've tried Arid, but that's it. Okay. I haven't played on 10 in a while. These maps, they're doing quite well. Like, they're the most popular maps right now, like more popular than, you know, vanilla maps. So. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing quite well. So they're definitely like the. the um, the created maps are definitely getting better than before, but Hawaii, it was the first created map. There was a lot of different stuff to it, like the fact that it was a saturated map and, you know, an island. It was a pretty good map, but yeah, yeah W Hawaii, W Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, I almost feel like they should be stamped as official maps at this point, because the quality of some of these maps is beyond anything that people thought, or at least I thought you could do in Untan, you know? Yeah, for like sure. I know... Like, it, Nelson's one thing that I think I heard him speak about before was that he doesn't like making the maps official because then it makes Unturned big to download. But like we're in 2024 and Unturned's like two gigs. Everyone's got a decent enough internet. Can I would just put more maps. Internet, Let's just calm down. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I... If I was him, I would keep the maps in the game. It gives them a lot longer of a lifespan if they were um, vanilla or yeah. at least like officially with the, with the download, you know? Yeah, because right now they're like in their own tab called curated exactly. and you need to yeah, subscribe to it. it yeah exactly so i i think that would be a good idea if they put it as an official map like some of the popular maps like um yeah. i don't know like for example right now escalation is the most popular map or arid or you know elver whatever if they do that as an official i think that would be that would be pretty cool i think maps make the biggest difference in player count um but I don't know. I'm no expert, but I remember the the hype I had back in the day when Russia got dropped and Hawaii got oh, dropped. Oh yeah, and yeah. Came out. Yeah, Russia was a Russia was a huge map when it came out. It's still very popular now too. So yeah, that's very nice. All right, uh, next question. So I think we're gonna go a bit off from like the unturned YouTube scene now and game gaming in general, and we're gonna start with the stuff that you guys do. So um, this question was asked from Acos. I don't know if you know who Acos is. Um, he asked if you have any plans for Yeeti, since you guys, uh, you guys own Yeeti right now, I think, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, we yeah. Do. yeah, we do. Um, he wanted to know if you guys have any plans for it for in the future. So, Yeeti, and I, I'm going to twist this question into Unturned Store as well, which we also own. Okay. We both, um, acquired them. The problem with them is they're, like, really hard to work on, because, um... Uh, they all came like in a pretty good state, but to add add the things we want to add, it's literally a full time job required. Like we'd need to get a full developer to work on it. Oh damn! Okay. Um, so we we do have plans for them, but like a lot of the plans require totally rewriting it from the ground up. For example, Yeti is a bit tricky um, because Unturned is is a fairly small in the grand scheme of things for us now. Um, but I did want to look at expanding it into Rust and things like that. We have been doing work on Yeeti. I know a lot of people think that it, it, it hasn't had new features. And just because it hasn't had new features, it doesn't mean we haven't been doing things. We totally redid the whole infrastructure for Yeeti and the whole back end of it. Um, it used to time out a lot for server owners. 
so that shouldn't happen anymore um we added a different different payment methods and things and neatened up the site a bit but the plan is we have someone now that is like working on unturned store for us and he's probably would probably be able to work on yeti for us once that's done so when that's done we'll transfer him over and hopefully slowly get things done it's just a lot harder than it seems oh yeah no for sure yeah i mean this kind of stuff I, i've done a bit of coding in my like in, in college yeah. it's not easy at all and it takes a lot of time a little error here and there may ruin everything after like hours of work so you know exactly and yeti is so like a lot of servers rely on it and a tiny mistake can break a lot of servers so we exactly. gotta be very careful with that um another misconception i think is people think i can code i have no idea what i'm doing so <laughs> we have to hire oh. people for everything um so it obviously costs us a lot of money and ut doesn't oh, yeah, for sure. really make much money at all okay so it's nice to see that you guys are still working on ut i've i haven't heard that name in a while to be honest with you so it's nice that mm. it's it's still being brought up so yeah that's really good all right so another question i have is um okay so how did pine hosting originate like whose idea was it like whose idea for example like how did it start you want to take well, that one, Yeah, sure. I mean, basically, like, if we go way, way, way back, well, okay, it's not that long ago, but um, me and Brad just wanted to start something together. We had done stuff in the past before, obviously, on my channel, a lot of the content, um, if not for a while, all of the content was me and Brad talking about things, me and Brad um, in Untimed Life RP, and, and, and obviously, we, we worked on loads of stuff together. Um, I was kind of a little bit involved with brad's rp and, and you know we had all this oh, stuff yeah, but we wanted yeah. <laughs> something that we could make um together and, and build together and then that was kind of the whole idea and then just sort of out of nowhere brad suggested uh hosting um which i'd so... actually done before pine i had my own host yes. that lasted about a week and then oh, i realized yeah. that Unturned didn't work on linux <laughs> i had to shut it down oh uh, yeah. i see okay wait it doesn't yeah. i thought it does <laughs> it, no it does it now, now but back oh. in the day it didn't <laughs> oh okay yeah. okay makes yeah, sense yeah, no, thank god because we, we don't run <laughs> yeah. anything on windows everything's hosted on linux so yeah yeah um but no i mean literally we just wanted to build something and then the hosting came up as an idea and then you know obviously i could promote it on my channel and then we could keep building it and then yeah, i just in the background it's just grown and grown and grown and grown and now obviously it's far beyond kind of what we thought it could be i mean just for context like um by not by server count but by like where our, our pine revenue comes from unturned would be like number five. Oh damn um yeah no like it's it's not a huge thing for us anymore you know like um project zomboid is larger than unturned for us damn right now. yo shout out um, project zomboid that game is amazing game. great game i'm addicted great to game. it but yeah <laughs> It's, uh, <laughs> it is quite addictive, isn't it? But yeah, you know, it's just, we, we've just sort of continued building on it. And that's what I like about Pine so much. It's like, you can just go one game to the next game to the next game and then just keep adding to the roster and, and you know, breaking into different different communities. It kind of, I mean, as you know, uh, as an Unturned YouTuber, it's very difficult to expand beyond un, beyond Unturned. Oh uh, yeah, you for know? sure. It's, it's very impossible difficult. nowadays, yeah. Um, it's really difficult to have a channel in general and expand and have anything remotely broad, just YouTube generally speaking. So the fact that Pine allows us to do that um, is, is just really refreshing, you know? It's really, really great to be able to hop in games and explore new stuff. I mean, I've learned so much about Rust uh, just by hosting it, making content on it. You know, I stay updated with it. Um, like, I made a, a Rust TikTok earlier about Rust Mobile, and I find that out. I found that out by seeing a LinkedIn post from Facebook, uh, from Face Punch. Sorry. Okay. okay. Um, so the, you know, like you just learn all sorts of stuff, and I, I love that you can do all of that. Um, that's uh, yeah, yeah it's it's it. a your toes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, like P Pine was kind of just. It was surprising how little planning there was. We just sort of started it. <laughs> it yeah, wasn't some grand plan, by any means. Yeah, that's but kind I of came up with the name. Oh, so it's a I great name. The name. It's a great name. I love the name. Pine <laughs> Hosting. <laughs> Even my viewers, like, there's a viewer specific that every time I mention, like, Pine Hosting or whatever, he literally types out my whole, like, message in my videos. <laughs> yes, he, people do that all the time with our sponsorships. He types <laughs> it all. It on <laughs> he, he, he's not here right now, sadly, but he knows who he is. He, yeah, he's not here right now, sadly. He loves you guys. That is a shame. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, oh, it's a shame he can, he can be here. So. <laughs> yeah, I probably watched the vod though. 
<laughs> yeah. If he doesn't, I'll make him, so don't worry. <laughs> yes, you should. You should. <laughs> All right. So, uh, next question. All right. So, uh, this is a little question, but you you guys just said that you've worked with a lot of different games. Obviously, you got to, you know, find content creators for for these type of games. So, for example, who is the biggest content creator that you've worked with? Oof, okay, now this is a very difficult question because I don't know if you're talking about like in general or sub count or you know, like there's so many different ones. I mean, um, some particularly iconic ones for me is obviously uh, Shadow Frax. I mean, we work with Shadow Frax quite often, okay, okay, uh, in, in Rust. He's he's really big, um, and working with him was and and and, and still is an absolute pleasure. You've got like Nilex, obviously, yes, um, yes, um, Panda, you know, more and more in turn based, Fudgy, um, you know, like we've got. You know, I mean, you actually, you know, I've mean, done so much in time content. You have um, the most sponsored videos out of everyone. I know, yeah. I know. You guys told me once, dude, <laughs> yeah. I'm on the grind, man. I think yeah, you're, it's, you're probably it's, on like 200 at this point. No, it's not no. Even close. Um, not 200. No, that's too much. <laughs> I can uh, check it's a lot. Like yeah, 130 check, something, well. I think, right now. It's that's from the link. Before... Yeah, oh, just... yeah, true. The before, the... <laughs> bro, you know. I got, I got to try, you know, <laughs> it's so many, but yeah, no, we, I mean, we work with so many people. It's, uh, we, we have this page on our website, which is slightly out of date now, but I'll, I'll put it in our discord chat, okay. um, which has a bunch of our partners and people we've worked with. Oh yeah. I can show um, this. Yeah. 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 Go for it. Um, you know, that's, that's my pride and joy really. Um, oh, damn. So, I mean, there's a, there's a huge mix, all sorts of people and channels and yeah, um, there's so, there's a lot, man. Hmm. Oh, and Nardo yeah. as well. Yo. That... Wow. Yo, we, I'm we there. We try and be so... everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah that... we certainly try. And then also recently we've had Project Zomboid ones, like uh, like Comp at the very bottom there. He's a Project Zomboid guy. Okay. Um, and Mr. Brollo, who's also... Brollo's a, a Rust oh, YouTuber, yeah. but we've also sponsored his uh, Project Zomboid side. Yeah, I've um... seen a few of his videos too, actually. That's sick. That yeah. you... That's insane. Mm. Yeah, no, we... Uh... We certainly branched out from from Untamed. Um, no, nah, that's what you gotta do. That's a really that's really smart. I'm trying to do the same with like videos with like Project Zomboid as well. So give it a try, you know. <laughs> Project yeah. Zomboid gets a lot of views. For that, like that is true. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I I keep running into channels which have like got three uploads and yet they've got like a video with a million views on Project Zomboid, and it's just it's very confusing. I don't know what it is about that game, but. When a Project Zomboid video hits, I feel like it's going to hit. Exactly, big. yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, no, keep it up, definitely. Uh, I'm trying my best, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best. But hey, I'm, I'm having a good time at the same time. And honestly, that's the important thing. So. Yo, Zano, yeah. thanks for the gift, man. Yo, hearts for Zano. Thank you, man. All right, so uh, let's get ourselves another question. Uh, okay, so there's a lot of other hostings out there, you know. And a lot of people ask me this, for example, but why would someone use Pine Hosting instead of like another hosting out there? Like, what do you guys offer better than other hosts? You know, I could talk for hours, but I'll try and summarize. Um, of course, of course. <laughs> so <laughs> one thing is we're new to the scene. So a lot of our stuff is brand new hardware. Um, obviously, I think later on we'll show some of that, but all of our hardware is brand new. Um, we've spent or well, not hours, days, trying to find the correct um, DDoS protection and things, especially because we host like Panda server who gets hit with DDoS attacks all the time. Oh. So we finally partnered up with Cosmic. We've got great DDoS protection. We don't have any issues anymore um, with that. And then my pride and joy is I am so OCD with things that all of our panel features are like spotless, at least to the best of my ability. Um, for context, we spent like three weeks working on a Minecraft version changer thing. Um, three weeks of a full-time dev working on it just to make sure that everything is spotless. It works in every single direction. Um, and I challenge any of our customers to break any of our features, please. If you can break it, send me a DM and we'll fix it. But I'm pretty confident that every single one of our panel features is impossible to break. Um, you guys so heard that? that, that that's what I... <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, dude, yeah, just, I, I've just just to add to that actually, like okay. the extreme level of polish that Brad does with features is obsessive. It's it's hyper obsessive. It's ridiculous. It's like Brad will never ever 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 have a feature showing a setting you can't use with a feature. I mean, for example, with the Minecraft version switcher, um, you've got some versions of Minecraft which display certain options and then others don't and whereas other hosts would just constantly display everything and then we, we've really like the level a lot of, of it came from is is crazy okay. when i first started hosting my own servers um and i'm sure even you probably experienced this when you did your own servers it can be confusing in the beginning and oh, a lot yeah, of the times sure. hosts have like all these panel features that don't actually relate to what you have installed or what you you're using and i hated that because it confused the hell out of me yes. um me so too. i've tried to design all of our features to the point where if it's showing, you can actually use it. Um, otherwise, it confuses you, especially when a lot of our customers are brand new server owners. So we take a lot of care in, in the features and the support as well. Mm. Um, all of our support team's great at, at helping new people out. Yeah. But I mean, even just to add to that, I mean, obviously, we got the whole feature side, which is the real bread and butter, but also our support. Our support is excellent. Um, Sorry, you know, the, the dog barking it's in the okay, background. It's but... okay, it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> he barks a lot, so I do apologize oh, for that. Oh, it's all right, that's all right. Our support are excellent, absolutely fantastic. I mean, so many of our reviews reference our support. Um, you know, they actually speak to you like a person, not a robot. You know, okay, we have yeah. live support quite often. Um, I personally jump into tickets all the time. I check on things. I'm on it every single day before I sleep. I clear tickets, you know. Um, okay. Like the level of like hands-on involvement that me and Brad have with Pine is far beyond anything you'll find with a ho another host's even smaller than us, let alone bigger. Um, and then you combine that with obviously our hardware side, and then you combine that with the fact that our pricing is extremely reasonable. We're not the cheapest host on the planet, but we never even set out to be. You know, we're trying to offer the best features, the best hardware, the best DDoS protection, the best support, while also not being the most expensive. And combining all those things is obviously very difficult. Um, but I, I absolutely think we, we've done it. And, no, um... Yeah, for sure. You guys are doing a good job, man. Um, like going back to like the panel, I, exactly when I started like my own servers and events, I, I used to use a different hosting. I'm not going to mention the name, obviously, but I was so confused. I literally had to find someone to do it for me. Nowadays, I'm, I'm still not that good into it, but like with Pine hosting, it's much easier to like quickly set up a server like in just a few minutes. Uh, you know, d d downloading mods and all of that. It's very, very, very easy. At least for and me. And we have so many cool ideas. Like in future, we want to have a template system. So, for example, if you wanted to make an arena server for a stream, one click, and then it sets up a, a, a templated arena server that you can just hop on and start streaming. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah like... we, we have loads of ideas like that. I mean, ultimately, it's just it's speed, it's efficiency, it's a new approach. It's, you know, our, our entire infrastructure is built in the best most efficient way possible we're not a legacy old host running old janky zeons or anything like a lot of them are it's all just forward thinking and 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 new and fresh yeah yeah exactly um, yeah you know, for example we've never ever ever deployed a single pine server on a hard drive everything is is ssds and everything's m.2 ssds even okay um you know because it's just it's just too slow and, and old and we don't do that yeah so i have a question that just popped up uh, about hardware now me personally i don't know anything about this kind of stuff but they want to know um they want to uh, they asked how much of the hardware how much of the hardware do you own i don't exactly know what this means so this is uh, those images we sent i don't know if you have them but you can pull those up if we want to talk about them now uh yes um everything in texas we own so we have two racks in texas for the non-server people out there a rack is just like a huge cabinet for servers so um if you look at those images with like the the white uh, shelf things, oh, yeah, yeah. each one of those little rows with a sticker on, those are um, those are one server. So I think we're sitting on like sixty something servers in Texas right now. A bunch of those are daddy clients that we have, and then all of our game nodes run off of the hardware that we own, and that is a huge investment. Um, <laughs> that hardware has cost us over a hundred thousand um, dollars. Oh damn! But yeah. So it was a lot. And then obviously Spamla and I flew out to Texas. That's why we, we took all those photos and things. Um, but yeah. it, it, the, the end goal is it, it cuts costs for the um, customer and it allows us to, to save money in the long run, which we can reinvest into getting more owned hardware. And then eventually we should own everything, but that's the long-term <laughs> plan. 
yeah it's just incredibly difficult especially when we spike uh when we spike uh for whatever reason you know if we have a big jump keeping up with that jump in owned hardware is so difficult so difficult yeah because each machine see, costs about uh, 1800 to build yeah so each one of those tiny little blades is like 1800 dollars. jesus and then yeah it's uh it's so much money bro that is <laughs> like... expensive man damn yeah. yeah it's like our standard servers now if you want to just tell them what our standard server is brad um what the 7900 yeah yeah go for it yeah so all of our servers that we deploy our game nodes onto is a ryzen 7900 192 gigabytes of ram and then two terabyte m.2 um so yeah top end stuff we don't we don't cheap out all of the server motherboards all sorry all the motherboards are server grade which means we can like reboot it from anywhere in the world and stuff like that and we took a lot of care into labeling it that one image that you pulled up on stream with like the messy cables that was what it looked like before that's definitely not how it looks now uh, um, okay. <laughs> yeah so that that was what it looked like before and then that one of those videos i think shows the, the cables and how we remanaged everything and it's a lot cooler now that old one was so hot behind there that it felt like it was melting the cables oh. yeah um that was done by other people so then we've gone through done it now and our servers um for the people that know hardware our servers are sitting at like idle temperature 34 degrees celsius which is very cool for a Ryzen CPU. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're right um, in, in the chat there, um, Captain Chase. They are, they are water-cooled mostly. We have a few that are still on older coolers, but pretty much all of them are water-cooled, which is yeah, very rare. Yeah, water-cooled. Um, yeah, for, for servers, that's quite yeah, And for, that is good, for game yeah. servers about GPUs, we um, game servers don't need a GPU, so none of our servers have GPUs in them because you're just running a, a, a console, essentially, so you don't need that. Okay. All right. Dude, the, I, I'm literally baffled by how expensive they are, man. <laughs> yes. Yes. The, you can Emma doesn't factor. like looking at the sheet when I, know, I, I bring don't. it up. It to hurts you. my brain. It hurts my brain. But, like, what's crazy about that, right, is you've got the Texas side, but if we wanted to own all of our nodes, okay. it would be. No, it would be like oh. 300,000, 400,000. Yeah, it, it would be some outrageous number that's I mean, crazy hardware we use is... that's scary uh. dude. that's nah you would never see me doing this like i would just <laughs> i would just fail in the first week like, <laughs> yeah no i mean people thought we would everyone was like um oh you just know the summer host you're not gonna get anywhere you're just gonna shut down and then like now we're years on yeah man you um, guys are doing and, and, well and we're still growing you know yeah. it's um, I understand like why they'd be so pessimistic, but gosh, everyone was like, "You can't do it. You can never succeed." Um, and you know, you we're them. trying. We're, you we're, show, we're, you we're showed them there. wrong. We're <laughs> 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 well, hopefully, hopefully. Nah, man, you guys are doing well, man. Like even just the fact that you got those that amount of content creators, you know, it's it's crazy. And they're all different genres. It's not just all on turn, you know. It's it's really nice. It's really and that hardware. I'm literally like speechless now <laughs> yeah yeah no I, I don't think people I wish realize... it was cheaper yeah <laughs> yeah me too what but what i don't think people realize that's uh yeah that is just texas uh but that's the only place we oh. own the hardware um uh blaze in, in the chat there but yeah. it's yeah it's a lot i mean our, our last texas trip which this is heart attack stuff is when we flew out <laughs> Because to justify us going out and flying, obviously I'm flying from South Africa, Spamel's flying from England, yeah, exactly. the hotels and all of that, it was crazy. But because we were going there, we had to justify it by building a bunch of servers. So we okay. spent, I think it was like $50,000 in hardware at once, Damn. which means we had to fill up. If the servers are sitting, they're not making us any money at all. So we had to fill up those servers as quickly as possible. So. When Liam does a plug on the videos, <laughs> it helps us and it helps him. Exactly. <laughs> Chad, make sure you use called LDG for 30% Please. off. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Uh, how much have you all spent in total? Are you asking on a hardware or uh, just on everything? Because on everything, that would be a very difficult I think number. he means on everything. Oh, God. <laughs> Too much is the answer. Impossible to count probably right now. Uh... Yeah. I could probably work it out, but too much. Too much. It's... Yeah, it's too much. Um... It's very expensive to run a game hosting company. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> now I know. <laughs> and just from, from hearing you, so I can't imagine how it is to be in it, so. All right. Uh, all right, let's go. Next question. Um, okay, so 
how often do you encounter issues with the servers? So like downtime, that kind of stuff. Like, do you um, still get them? Not that much anymore. Okay. So obviously stuff happens and there'll be downtime and sometimes the motherboard fails and stuff. But one thing with that whole Texas trip, like you saw, those cables were a mess. Yes. Before, yes. if we had one issue with one server, someone would go in there and then while they were fixing one server, they would accidentally knock off another server by hitting the power cable. So that was a mess and it wasn't great. Um, now everything's cool, everything's cable managed, labeled. So when we do have an issue, I mean, we've had an issue a few months ago. Someone went in, took them five minutes to replace the hardware, and then it doesn't cause any issues for anyone else. Okay. So right now, I think we picked the correct providers. In the beginning, we made some mistakes, obviously, like any business would. And um, some providers just aren't great. They get DDoSed and they shut down. Um, but nowadays, we're, we're in a pretty comfortable position. So All we're right. just trying to focus on expanding. Okay. Okay. That's nice to hear. Very nice to hear. All right, so what is the biggest achievement that you guys consider for, like, you guys have done with, with Pine Hosting? I mean, this is a very difficult question because there's too much that I'm incredibly proud of. But I think, I mean, for me personally, a huge milestone was going full-time Pine Hosting because I, I, I don't know if you'd even know this, Liam, but prior to Pine, I worked uh, full-time in, in just a marketing job. Okay. Um, and then going full time with Pine was was very much a leap of faith. Oh yeah, for um, sure, for sure. You know, so that was that was quite a milestone for me. But then you've also got stuff like, I mean, how we we grew in in Rust. I mean, that was a huge accomplishment. Um, you know, and, and becoming more of a Rust host than an unturned host was something which, you know, maybe back in the day we wouldn't have even thought was possible or even thought of maybe. So I, I don't know. I mean, maybe Brad would say something different, but. For me, those those are the biggest accomplishments. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think the the hardware is my personal favorite achievement, but <laughs> convincing Spamel to quit his job <laughs> that was. <laughs> no, I mean, uh... if you enjoy it as well, you know, if it's you, if you prefer working with this than like your old job, then I I do think that it's a a step forward as well, you know. Yeah, definitely. Um. But yeah, I relate with you when it comes to like doing the leap of faith. Like I finished college last year as well, like, like technically like before the summer, so in May. And right now I'm doing YouTube and all of this as like a full time job as well and Twitch and everything. So mm. it is a it is a scary like thought that what what if you know my channel dies or something happens or you know what I mean. But yeah, man, I, I respect that you're doing it as like a full time job. It's something that you enjoy and you build it from you know the ground up all by yourself. So. Props to you, you know. Uh, okay, so we have the final question before we jump into uh, viewer questions. I know that there's probably a few, um, which is for the future. So do you guys have any plans for Pine Hosting? So like new locations, if you're thinking of adding new games or that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know if Brad wants to take this one, but sure, sure I will. I mean too much we have too many new locations i mean we've got nothing in south america we've got nothing in asia we've got nothing in africa which brad really wants to do uh, a south african location at some point um th there's so much to add so much to do i mean our games list i mean we could probably triple the size of our games list and still not be done i mean we've got um... stuff like gmod which we don't do we've got um csgo is actually surprisingly big you know csgo yes. we don't do we've yes. got um, even just other hosting products. I mean, we haven't got VPS hosting, which we want to add. I mean, for Discord bots or websites, and uh, I mean, the list is endless. Um... One thing with the games, which brings back to my OCD about the features, is we don't like adding games if we can't offer like quality features or support for it. So okay. a lot of hosts will just spam out games and then figure it out later kind of thing. We try and make all of our features before we release the game. We did that with Project Zomboid. Um, so lots of games, just not enough time in a day. Okay. Do you have like a game that is, for example, like close to, you know, release for you well, guys? Well, we, we have Minecraft we technically already offer, but we're going to be redoing our whole Minecraft offering, updating the pricing, um, and then obviously all these panel features because right now our Minecraft offering doesn't come with, with enough features really um, to be competitive. But by, by this end of this month, we're going to have a bunch of cool Minecraft features that... Um, so we'll be re-releasing Minecraft, I guess. And then after that, right. we're probably going to focus on Gmod, I would say. All right. Um, most likely. I don't really know. I haven't thought that far ahead. I mean, there's tons of stuff that I 
that we need to get developed before doing other games so it's difficult and as for that that question in chat about how many games we host oh, yeah. um I'll, I'll just answer that quickly you can see the full list on our all games tab on our, on our website um i'm pretty sure you know, i can almost say like. them all i'm pretty sure you guys have unturned rust um uh, project zomboid minecraft <laughs> yeah dude um gmod right no, no not yet, yet. power yeah. world yeah yeah uh i th think that's it uh soul no, mask got... seven days to die oh, yeah, seven days to die. satisfactory mind test valheim see? Arc, <laughs> uh, and then that's that's all of them i think i think Damn. Like 12. <laughs> yeah see yeah but a lot of games a lot more to do a lot more to do <laughs> dude i love that though i love that mm. <clears throat> uh, okay so yeah let's go over to any viewer questions we may have please no weird questions <laughs> this is the scariest part. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I know people are curious and want to ask a, a huge variety of things, so go for it. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah we're going to start off with the Dash. He asks this to everyone. He wants to know if you guys like alcohol. I, I don't <laughs> yes. know why. <laughs> All right. There. See, he asked again. Okay, and which alcohol? Did he ask the favorite? I was going to say. Yeah, no, favorite. Go the... I'm going to sound pretentious, but, but I like a whiskey, a nice whiskey. Okay. Okay, ooh, classy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would very much disappoint him, so I'm just going to refrain from that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, Femma doesn't really drink. I don't really drink. Yeah, me uh, neither, so W. Yeah. If yeah. I drink, I get, like, like I can't sleep at all. Like, I get really? sick. Yeah, even, like, after ah. two drinks, like, I, I, it does something with my, like, dig digestive system. Yeah, I wake up in the middle of the night sometimes if yeah. I drink a lot. And like uh, the, I, I cry literally. Like my, I just I just have tears coming out the whole time. I have a friend like that. Yeah. I don't know. All right. So, uh, do you have any regrets in the unturned community by Kukui Charles? Oh. Oh gosh. Um. Probably at many times voicing things in a way that was too critical and came across as like. Um, abrasive when i didn't mean it to you know it's like it very much i think people misinterpret a lot of what me and brad were talking about back in the day as being really critical and hating unturned whereas really it was all just coming from a place of love you know like it's, it's a place of like we wanted to see things change i um, remember this time yeah i remember this yeah you know and and uh, also like it's i understand why people viewed it like that because it, it like if i think about a game that i've just started to play and and i see people saying stuff like that you know maybe i would i would also think that but i don't know yeah so probably just the way we voiced some of our concerns wasn't the best um so probably probably that yo i just want to announce someone has just bought a server with called ldg literally right now <laughs> yo <laughs> thank nice. you chat <laughs> very nice thank you if thank that's you. someone here thank you <laughs> <laughs> did you have that up or no i literally j no no i literally just checked and yeah someone just <laughs> like before the stream that there wasn't there someone literally just did it now so that's kind of that's kind of sick all right another question from now we're gonna skip that one um all right as question for blaze i think this was asked in the discord as well so they asked why are you using the pay for slots model so a couple of reasons when we started pine hosting a lot of hosts did pay for slots and we kind of just followed along because, well, we didn't really know what we we're doing. Um, but the reason why we can't change it over now, which I know some people like, some people dislike, is, well, one, we have a lot of customers to change over and it's not that simple because if someone's paying for 100 slots, then how do you convert them to the best amount of RAM and stuff like that? It can be very confusing and we'd have to develop some tool for it, which is, is chaos and I can imagine it going terribly. Um, but another reason why I like slots, which I know not everyone agrees with, um, is we're able to bring the, the starting price down a lot. So a server that can afford 100 slots a month, they've probably got 100 players a month. And if you've got 100 players a month, you're probably making a decent amount of money off your server. Um, so our, our idea is people come in, they buy like an 18 slot server, they can start it, play with friends, and then as they grow, they can upgrade their slots. Then when they get to a certain point, um, Right now, if they get really big, we suggest that they move on to a dedicated server, obviously, because dedicated servers are just better. They give you more control. But um, in future, hopefully soon, 
trademarked um, yeah, of course. <laughs> we'd like to <laughs> we'd like to offer vps hosting and then then we literally offer all three like um bands for a server owner so they come in if they're a new server owner they got all the fancy panel features they can start at a cheap i don't know how much our intern servers start from i think eight dollars a month or something start at eight dollars a month upgrade to like a twenty dollar vps when they want and obviously vps's you can have unlimited slots and then if they've got a bunch of servers or they even want to start their own host then they can buy a dedicated server so that way everyone can kind of find a machine that works for them okay okay uh, i hope that answered <coughs> your your question let's see if there's any more questions that's a crazy question timo i am not asking that um yeah, I did, I did see that. The answer is nothing because we spend all our money. It's a problem. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> there is so no expensive. return on investment. So. No, nothing, <laughs> no, it's just genuinely we just reinvest everything. I mean, I see um, ACOS asking about we still make people choose RAM and CPU. We do. But if you look at our RAM pricing compared to any other host, we're like significantly cheaper. Yeah. Um, so if we just based it on RAM, like technically, I probably shouldn't say this, but technically, if you bought a server with like low slots um, and RAM only and CPU, for example, and then you filled it with a bunch of plugins, we would end up losing money because you are using more RAM than we even making off of it kind of thing. So the lower slots are like barely break even and we subsidize it with the slots, essentially. Okay. All right. Um, I hope that answered your question as well, ACOS. Um, yeah, because also it's like our RAM isn't just regular RAM, it's all DDR5 now, so it's not cheap RAM <laughs> okay. at all. <laughs> okay. So yeah. it's like if you're comparing like for like, if you're doing a gigabyte with some hosts, that could be a gigabyte of, of pretty slow DDR4. DDR3 or something, or, yeah. or, or, Some of them even DDR3, which is insane, but, you know, versus a gig of DDR5 with M.2 and, and all the other stuff we do, it's not really comparable. I feel like the way that most people compare hosts is, is quite misguided, to, to say the least. Exactly. Yeah, DDR5 is pretty crazy. Um, so it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think mine is my PC is DDR4. Just wanted to point that out. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Better than DDR3. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Of course. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see if there's any more questions. Could you ask them to go in more in depth of the struggle with the South African survey? Uh, okay. It, it, what's the, um, yeah, that's the question. So <laughs> so South Africa, great country, but not known for its internet and things like that. Um, so one of the problems with South African servers is there's no DDoS protection providers. With DDoS protection providers, there's literally like two options that do game DDoS protection, and it's Path and Cosmic Guard. They're the only two good ones. Um, and it's less about, a lot of people think that DDoS protection, you just need a bunch of bandwidth. That's barely anything. You need good filters. Um, that are designed for each game. So Path and Cosmic are the only two that actually offer unturned specific filters, for example. Um, and they don't have a location in South Africa. So if we open a South African location, um, the DDoS protection would be great. And we'd have to find someone or build a custom solution, which is very expensive, obviously. And then South Africa, like a lot of, I suppose, Eastern European countries, the, the um, I guess, cost of living is a lot cheaper, which means that people can't afford as much per server so we'd like to make our south african servers cheaper but it would probably end up costing us more to have a south african server so yeah it's, it's the it's same problem with balance. south america actually where it's yeah. like you end up with this audience which obviously just by the nature of the way the world works um wouldn't be able to spend as much on servers but for us the cost would be way higher than like a u.s server for example uh, so it's just a catch-22 it's it's really difficult yeah I see. it's yeah. literally inverse the the locations with more money and more spending power are cheaper to host in a lot of the time um yeah, so like tricky. germany i mean germany is obviously a very wealthy country but hosting in germany is is accessible and quite affordable yeah okay I see. All right. Yeah. He said, thanks for the info. Uh, okay. So now we have a question from Timo. All right. So I don't think anyone ever did this, but was there any like issues, for example, like someone tried to hack or something pine hosting, like they tried to, you know, uh, I don't know, um, try to get your credentials or whatever. No, we, we haven't had any of that. Thankfully. I know a lot of hosts recently, um, got exposed in some data breach thing that happened. But yeah, we, we're very good with security. Um, obviously, we have a full-time dev. And the person before our full-time dev, Ed, was like the most security-conscious person you've ever met. So okay. we, we lock things down um, severely. So we haven't had any breaches. 
thankfully. All right, that's good. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we have a question from Megalo Parts. Uh, he asked, F1 endurance races or NASCAR? Formula One. All right, there you go. <laughs> What about you, Mr. Spamel? Or are you like I, me I just, where you don't care? I don't really watch any of them, but all I'll right. probably say F1 still, just just for the, the heritage. Sure, all we'll right, F1. All right. F1. Me too, F1. Um, and Red Bull, right? Has to be Red Bull you support. Are you, are you asking me? Oh, sure. No, I'm sure, asking but... Liam. What team do you support here? <laughs> what? For... Divide your community for, for Formula One. What's your favorite team? For Formula One? Yeah. I don't know any. <laughs> uh... <laughs> just say Red Bull then. That uh, Red Bull. Gosh. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Great. Um is Pine hosting good? I mean, what would we ever answer the, that? No, with? no, no. <laughs> Do not respond to Shisiki. Do not respond to him. No. Uh, um, let's see. Any other questions? Jay, any more questions? I'm ignoring wait, Zeno. Where's Zeno's question? I'm scrolling up like crazy. Zeno, can you retype your question, please? Uh, who is the main host for Pine? I, well, Spamel and Bread, uh, I guess. Yeah, you guys. I think he might mean who our main provider is, which would be Cosmic for our bandwidths okay. and things. Okay. All right, all right. Um, well, yeah, earlier I remember someone asked this question. Um, I, it was at the very start, but I for some reason it's stuck in my head. They asked, how tall are you? <laughs> what me or Brad? I think both, you know. <laughs> Let's get the chat to, to guess. Why not? Go for yeah, it. Yeah, go for it. Well, I'm 5'11. Technically okay. six foot, that means, you know? 5'11 is six foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean that's that's math. That's how that works. Exactly. Yeah, this is why we don't respond to Shisiki's question, see? <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll wait for some guesses, but six um, two. Six bad. one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, let's see. I mean, these are very good guesses. guesses. Yeah, yeah, very good. One, 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 one. <laughs> Three, on. three, six, two. No, I'm, I'm, if we're being very specific, because you have to be with height, I guess, I'm six, two and some change. Damn. Just, just annoyingly under six, three, which is always driven me insane. Damn, but... you're tall, man. I would look up there at you like, I'm looking at birds, dude. <laughs> but you and Brad are very similar height. Yeah, um, we're both six foot, Liam. Oh, you're five oh, yeah. eleven, so let's go. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. He's I'm genuinely six foot. Six foot. Oh. Genuinely six. I can attest to that. Right? Oh, okay, I've okay. Next to him many times. Oh yeah, so. true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Bro, I'm the shortest in this corner, and I'm probably the oldest <laughs> as well. How old are uh, you guys? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm 21, but I'm turning 22 in, in December, so. Okay. Annoyingly and I'm soon. regrettably 21 as well. Yeah, I'm <laughs> older than you. I'm 24, so. Wow. Wow. God, you're old, bro. I feel old at 21. <laughs> <laughs> this is so Jeez. sad. Yeah, all, all are pretty similar age, though. I mean. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. yeah. Pretty similar. Pretty similar. That's true. That's true. Okay, well, um, we've answered that, Kyrlis, at the start. Uh, so How you much just. does Brad wait? What is this obsession with Brad's weight? Don't oh, like that come I'm from. 68. Chisiki, yeah, don't. Brad's... Um, Brad is very light, so. If you want to answer, go for it. I, I. <laughs> Which one? Where I live? I live in South Africa. No, be careful what you respond to Chisiki because he will find you. <laughs> oh God! Okay, well he's yeah. got a big country to look at. Oh uh, yeah, no, dude. Um, this is a funny did you ever story. Go to I've ne never been to Latvia. Never been to. I think someone was asking about somewhere else earlier. I haven't been there either. Um. I Someone was asking about Lithuania. I could be making that up. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't been to that part of Europe really. Never yeah. been to Hungary either. Brad's never been. Uh, I've never been to Europe technically. Except uh, Europe. He had a layover in in Amsterdam, uh, Schiphol Airport. But apart from but that, but one thing about South Africa is the visas are horrible, so we're not allowed out of the airport anywhere. Uh... <laughs> Which means I'm just trapped in airports. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah. I have a funny story about going back to like Chesiki finding you. I have a viewer, yeah. yeah? So we all know that my name is Liam and I live in Malta. Mm -hmm. This guy found out my surname. There's easy ways to find out my surname. I'm not really scared to say what my surname is. But he found out every single person in Malta with my name and my surname and their address. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I assume that's a government record then, right? I'm scared of him. I'm scared. 
yeah, I plead the fifth from now on. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. terrified. Yeah, but I mean, also Malta's small enough. You could probably oh, just yeah. walk around the country and find it. To be honest. No, <laughs> technically no. Um, like, there's still a there's still a two hour drive from one side to the other side. So. I know. I, I'm kidding. I have I have actually been to Malta when I was much younger. Oh, uh, um, yo, what do you think of Malta? Oh, I love Malta. It's lovely. Um, I mean, we mostly just sat around and ate food, but oh yeah, nice. Malta nice. food is goated. Um, and also, it's like the saltiest seawater I've ever seen. Like you yes. just float. Why were you yes. drinking the seawater? Uh, no, you don't drink floating. the seawater. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's true though. If you dive and like you have like I don't know your eyes open or you know like you swallow a bit of seawater, you die. Like your eyes go red it's and so you... salty. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know why it's so salty, but I don't yeah. know. Malta's crazy. <laughs> that's all mm, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Malta's very Mediterranean, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's in the cool. middle of the Mediterranean, literally in yeah. the middle. Of uh, very random. I love it. We go from hosting to talking about how salty it's the water is. Yeah, the water is. That, 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 perfect though. Perfect podcast, right? <laughs> mm, perfect, perfect. Uh, uh, crazy questions. Crazy question. Your name yeah, is Liam. Yeah, go for the crazy question. Okay, yeah, go for all the right. Crazy. Why, let's, not? Let's, Why not? I don't even know what you guys are gonna answer um, to this. But or even go for the bad, to be honest, because it's like it's a good time to address stuff. Is there any? If there is any. Concerns. So oh no, it. I, it's it's just a. a all right, let me ask the question, okay? Did you play the Skibidi Toilet Hero in stream in Steam? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? No. <laughs> Actually, Liam, no, hold on. Me and Brad were talking earlier about how brain rotted you are. Oh, I am, bro. I <laughs> am so brain rotted. I am. I was like, what? What, what happened to Liam? <laughs> it's Chisiki's fault. <laughs> The streaming uh, every day on Twitch does this to yeah. you. That's why I, I said to imagine. Brad. I said it's Twitch chat. It's, it's the Twitch chat. Brain. They melt my brain. This is your <laughs> fault, guys. Yeah. Just yeah, to clarify, IRL, I don't say a word of that, okay? If I do, my okay. girlfriend so will slap like me. A, yeah. Oh, God, it's no, so no, bad no. When it bleeds into life. It's no, like, no, oh, I don't say any saying? of that. Even when I'm recording <laughs> videos or when I'm talking with friends, I don't say anything. It's just like I'm streaming. You know, in stream you have to say stuff constantly. I don't know what to say, so I just say, skibbity, you know? <laughs> so, or like, I, I don't know what I say. Sigma, I say a lot of Sigma nowadays. It's their yeah, fault. That, yeah. It's their fault, man. You see, like, in the podcast, I didn't say it once. I have control. <laughs> <laughs> Until now, at least. Mm, I respect that. I respect yeah. that. Um, yeah, these are not the sort of questions I expected at the end here. No. <laughs> what, yeah. What is... What... <sighs> We must address the real questions. Who is Ligma? Oh, great. Okay. This is a proper Twitch chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> At least they're not spamming emotes. <laughs> oh, well, now you just. Now they're going them. to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now they're going for it. All right, chat. That's going to be the end. The... Now, nah, let's get one more question and I have to I have to go. Oh, yeah. That's a good question from Ecos, actually. All right. So, what are the top three biggest unturned hosts in their opinion? Um. If you don't want to answer that, that's okay. No, I can. Uh, well, it's hard to know, but like, uh, obviously, because all these hosts have it pretty small. I think unturned server-wise, like unturned only, we are genuinely pretty high up there. Because if you compare like our server count to the total servers in unturned, I think GTX is quite a dark horse. They're an old host. They've been around for ages, so they have a bunch of unturned servers. I mean, that's who I started hosting my unturned server on. And... um. Sparked Host is also pretty big in Unturned. I would say they are direct competition when it comes to Unturned. Um, I'd say they're probably similar size to us. So those are the top three. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this podcast. I really hope that you guys had a, had a good time participating as well. It was a fun one. I had a, I had a good time. Um, thank you again um, to Spamal and Brett for participating. Um, really appreciate it for the second podcast now the next podcast we're going to have ourselves uh nylex who is um it's gonna be literally my first time talking to him but he agreed to join the podcast so uh yeah thank you so much for watching guys i really hope that you enjoyed but before we head off i would like to give another shout out to the sponsors of the podcast firstly obviously we have ourselves pine hosting if you guys want to check out pine hosting make sure to use code LDG for 30% off, make sure to type exclamation pine host. And now we have ourselves Amox Studios as well, who is a team of professionals who work with you to make any types of mods or maps for your servers. And finally, we have Restore Monarchy, who specialize in plugins, where you can get yourself free or paid plugins for all of your servers. 
and they also do a ton of guides regarding Unturned and also plugins on their YouTube channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Much love, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for having us. No problem, man. I, I hope you guys had a good time. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah, no, that was I'm, glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm <laughs> glad.